What's good, folks? It's your brother, Mad Black, and I'm black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. I have to admit, folks, the, the mayonnaise tears are flowing heavy and flowing hard these last couple of days, ever since Roe vs. Wade got reversed by the Supreme Court. And you see a lot of uh, whites, especially on the, the liberal side of things, they're doing a lot of caterwauling and whining and, you know, ripping their clothes. And they want us to participate in this whole cry fest. And I, for one, am not going to do it. Okay? This is a position that they put themselves in. If the Democrats, liberals, progressives, or whoever were serious about protecting the right to abort children, they would have shored up those rights while they had the majority in the Senate and in the House of Representatives and in the executive branch. They would have done it then. But now they want to act as if the only way to save these rights is to vote for these dumbbells again. And there's a lot of fools who are going to fall for that because they believe in this system 100%. They get sucked in every election cycle with the carrot on the stick. And now the, the Democrats have a big one in this reversal of Roe versus Wade. And what they're going to do is convince you again that somehow being prevented from aborting your children is somehow something you need to be concerned about and something you need to vote for them in order to protect that right, you know, for some strange reason, whatever reason they give you, okay? It really doesn't matter at this point. It's just whatever nonsense they make up for this election cycle. And they're going to paint the, the Republicans and conservatives as the big bad boogeyman, and you have to vote Democrat in order to save these rights. And like I said, they're going to get their black boot licks, like Roland Martin. They've already sent out a lot of their black politicians, namely the vice president, Kamala Harris. They sent her out there to buck dance. They sent out the Obamas. The Obamas are out there acting like they're just so sad and heartbroken by this, knowing damn well like, like, like they had no power or they had no position in order to save this years ago. You would almost think Obama wasn't president for eight years. But but we're now we're supposed to take something seriously, even though you were in a position of power to change things, and people gave you their vote in order for you to change things and, and to solidify certain laws and uh, certain things, but you didn't do it, but now you want us to be concerned about it. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to get bent out of shape. I have my own problems to deal with, okay, that none of you bastards, whether you be liberal or conservative, gave a damn about when I was dealing with it, when the American people have had to deal with no jobs, when the American people have had to deal with being told to stay home and not being able to make money, but then you want to be stingy when it comes to these stimulus checks, when the American people are being gouged. For all this damn gas, you let these damn companies run run roughshod, and, and that's the thing. They know this stuff is coming, but they let it happen anyway. And the American people always pay the price for it, you know. And I'm talking about your I'm talking about your average working American, okay? The average working American who is two paychecks away from being in poverty, all right? Which is most of them. Most of us are like that. Just let's just keep it 100. Keep it a buck, okay? Very, uh, a lot of us don't have savings uh, packed away to save ourselves, and, and that the pandemic proved that. You know, I, we were very lucky that uh, we had the options to work from home. We we ne we didn't lose any money here at my house because we were already working from home, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But for a lot of people out there, just found themselves SOL, which means strictly out of luck. So it's been tough for a lot of people out there. And these are real problems that a lot of us deal with. And I'm not going to get tied up or wrapped up 
in whatever nonsensical political agenda that you guys got going on now because you think this is something I need to be concerned about. All right. Like I said, most of us have real problems that we have to deal with. And those concerns are never met by either party. But now they want to try to tell us what to be excited about or what to be upset about. To hell with that. Okay, I'm not going for that. Most of us are not. And once again, I've seen the mayonnaise tears. And, and, and not just tears, but I've seen a lot of foolishness as well. You know, you got a lot of dumb uh, black feminists or, or black liberals or whatever getting sucked into this nonsense. And these white people barely take it seriously. And you fools are out there buck dancing and boot licking with these, these crazy white folks. I saw some nonsense over the weekend. I think Nicole Views posted it on her social media. There's white women out there twerking for abortion rights. And you got some dumb old, super old black women out there twerking with them. At least I think they're old. They sure looked it. Too old to be uh, bunked over with their booty in the air. I know that. And they're out there twerking with these ugly, stanking white women. Probably smelled like mayonnaise and bacon out there in the heat. But they're twerking for abortion rights. Just, just ridiculous. Like so, so you're talking about how serious this thing is, and you're talking about oh, you know, the women's right to choose and women's health and everything. But you're out there with your booty tooted up in the air, and I'm supposed to take that seriously as something that I need to be concerned about. And you, what you're stinking butt in the air, at out outside in the heat. But, but you want me to take it seriously that you need your abortion rights. No, I'm not doing it. Like I said, I'm not getting excited. I'm not cheering for it either, okay? Because the Republicans don't give a good goddamn about children. Republicans do things that have murdered children almost every day in this country and don't give a good goddamn how many kids have to die, whether it be protecting some of these ridiculous gun rights, whether it be letting these companies pollute and destroy the environment just so they can make a buck, or whether it be just not helping people who have children, who legitimately need help with their children, these SOBs always want to make sure they suck the dollars away because they think that uh, if people are getting money for free, or, or let me say this, if working class people are getting money for free, that means the working class people are lazy, but these assholes sit up on their behind all day, don't work, most of their wealth is inherited, never had to work, and they think somehow they're entitled to their money. They're entitled to their uh, booster and fundraising money. They're entitled to the money given to them as a salary. They're entitled to the money given to them by these corporations as payoffs. They're all entitled to that. But we should never get any type of money, whether it be Medicaid, Social Security, or nothing. They think it's okay to take all that away from American people. But I'm supposed to believe that they give a damn about children but won't do anything to actually help children that need help. Same thing with these damn Democrats. Democrats talk about, oh, we need to protect the rights of women. Women need help, this, that, and the third. Uh, they voted for a, a piece of trash who is someone who sexually assaults women, first and foremost. So you care about women so much, but when the women came out and said that this bastard molested me or assaulted me, you voted for him anyway because, quote unquote, we have to stop Donald Trump, and 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 uh, and, and Biden is the lesser of two evils, as they say. So you voted for that bastard anyway, even though he assaults women. So 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 how am I supposed to sit here and believe that you even take what you say seriously? You want me to get emotional and wrapped up in these things that you want, but you don't even take the the shit seriously yourselves. That's why I said I'm not getting excited. I'm not celebrating this decision, nor am I getting all bent out of shape and depressed over it either. Once again, I got my own problems to deal with because I live down here on Earth with regular people. And there are things that I need to deal with to hell with everyone else. This is something that I've learned with my own personal experiences, whether it be the death of my first child or with my own personal health issues that I've had over this year. Okay. I can't be concerned about everything else going on out there. That's nonsense anyway. I can understand if it's close to home or something that actually affects me. But if it doesn't, I can't really be concerned about that 
because I'm dealing with stuff that they won't help me with. Like, why should I get excited about them, uh, all this nonsense that they're talking about when I have to uh, come out of pocket for, for basic medical bills and medication? You see what I'm saying? Something that I need to survive and keep myself healthy that I actually need. Uh, these fools don't help me with it. I have to work for that. Why don't you guys work for your, your rights that you, you claim are so great? Uh, the right to, to, to kill children or, or, or to protect women, whatever, you, whatever you've made up in your own mind. Because like I said, depending on who says it, most of these people don't even have a dog in the fight. They're just going along to get along with whatever political ideology they have. Most of them don't take that shit seriously. They're just spouting off and regurgitating political ideology. Don't even know what they're talking about half the time. But uh, they want me to get wrapped up in it. And I would advise not just me, but other black people not to get wrapped up in that trash. Don't get sucked up into their little soap opera, their little uh, uh, pro wrestling politics that they put on every year. And definitely don't get wrapped up in it when it comes to election time. They're going to be chatting and caterwauling about this stuff, putting the carrot in front of you, telling you, you got to vote Democrat if you want to save these rights, if you want to save this country. This country's not worth saving. I can't I can't save it. That's like me trying to go out on the beach and keep the waves from coming in with my hands. How in the hell am I going to save this country by doing that? If I got 10 people, we couldn't do that. How in the hell are we going to save this country? I say let it go down, let the waves crash, and let the chips fall where they met. If it's not important enough for these people to save it themselves, if it's not important for them to, to shore up their own rights that they say are so important, what the hell am I going to get all excited about for it? You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Anyway, Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on these devil's back.